Imagine if you could determine the number of calories in a plate of food within seconds. Scientists at GE Global Research are working on such a device, and as you're about to see, the results are promising. It measures fat and water content to get to the total calorie count. The device assumes the rest of the food, whether it be protein, sugar, or carbs, has a predefined number of calories and lumps them all together. Biologist Matt Webster starts by weighing a sugar solution, vegetable oil, and water, then combines them to simulate an actual food item. And we put this in our device. And we take a measurement. So with that weight and the information that we just scanned, it's estimating 37 grams of oil and 254 grams of water and 694 calories. Now we're going to put in those numbers that we put into the beaker. Okay, and so you can see here we get an estimate of 694 calories. That's what we put in the beaker and then it tells us how much we actually poured into that cuvette. And then what we have is a comparison where we can see and actually we're exactly on, which is a rare occurrence. Webster says they have done this experiment 40 to 50 times and are always within 5 to 10 percent of the target calorie count. Now work is shifting to a more open device that could support real food. Uh, having this box for our device, of course it's not really appetizing to try to cram your food into these boxes. So what we're trying to work on is to develop a device that can handle food in a format that we're going to want to eat. And the goal here is to have a system where you can just take a plate of food put it in and it will measure the parameters and give you an estimate of what the calorie content is. The system right now is a demo system where it's still doing a lot of measurements. This is a conceptual mock-up of what GE's calorie counter may look like in the future. As you can see, the dome-shaped device is designed to fit nicely over a plate of food with the electronics housed above. While you won't find this in stores just yet, stay tuned because GE researchers are continuing to investigate this exciting technology.